And there's the other door. And there's another fuse. I have like a ton of these things already. <laughs> sure. Anything worthy of a picture here? I would say maybe. Mark says no. I still have nine packs of batteries left. That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. Like this is fine. I guess it's fine. Flood warning. Okay. Fuse goes here. Makes sense. Seven packs of batteries left. That doesn't seem good. Fuck. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay. That makes eight packs of camera batteries. Well, first the batteries. I mean, you know it. That, that's more important. <laughs> and now we run. It's gonna be fine. Oh come on, I was on that. I was on that. I wasn't I wasn't off it. I was on it. I was on it. I refuse to believe I wasn't. <laughs> I was trying to do too much. Move, move, move. There's a lot of water there. Oh, no. oh it's just fours, okay. That's what happens, I see. So I have to run around and, and then jump? I thought it was neck. I, I thought it just fell last time, but I guess the, the board fell, okay. We never get an explanation as why that to why that tunnel floods. Honestly, I feel like in this universe, in this town, in this city, you'd need an explanation for why it didn't flood. I still have my packs of batteries left. More so than the other way around. So you know. That makes eight packs of camera batteries. I gotta get out of here. Okay. Oh, no. I can't jump that. What? I couldn't walk. Ah, stupid hitboxes. <laughs> Okay, we should maybe make a save once we're through that door, because it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Let's start back out here. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Seven packs of batteries left. But I mean, I clearly have to go up. And this, this is the only way up. And I can't like, I don't know. <laughs> don't crouch, sprint. I hate, I hate the jumping in this game though. Okay, just get on it and then jump off it before it falls. Forehead. 
What about this one? Is this one gonna... We need to crouch under this one, right? Just walk! Okay, we don't just walk under this one. I still have nine packs of batteries left. It's fine. Is there like a mouth thing I need to close, or it felt like I could go underneath? Honestly, it really looked that way to me. That makes eight packs of camera batteries. Oh, this is so slow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Is it a sprint across instead? No. Do I have, I have to jump this too? It's just like I hit a wall. <laughs> Should have made a save. What's the quick save button? A five or something? I don't really have any other great ideas there though. So the board, you know, you jump off it, sure. I guess that makes some sense. That makes eight packs of camera batteries. I gotta get out of here. He sounds so defeated in that line. I love it. Okay, here. It's just not actually this pipe. But okay. Can't take a picture of it from this side? Come on. No, I missed that picture. Is it done flooding? That's not broken. <laughs> That's a sneaky spot too, and it, it it doesn't look like it connects to that. That one. So this is not broken. <laughs> this is fine. This, however, is broken. Okay. Sure, why not? That's not far in now, I would be silly. Couldn't I take a picture of, of that? I don't know. Maybe maybe not anymore. Maybe I missed my moment. I probably did. But that's okay. Perhaps looked as if they were cut rather than broken. I guess so. They're still not functional that way though, are they? I think that's still worth the other picture. Okay. That's nine packs of camera batteries. It's good. Doesn't look like I'm getting out that way. What about this way? Also not this way. Also not this way. So we're getting out this way then. <laughs> the engineer. Solves your problems. <laughs> yes, no BS. 
That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. Surprisingly, everything seems... I mean, it's a bit, you know, messy, but nothing's really broken here. That's definitely worthy of a picture, even if Mark doesn't think so. <laughs> the voice reminds me of Antonio Banderas. I, re I read that before, but the, yeah, I, I first thought he was Spanish too, the voice actor, but he's not. I still have nine packs of batteries left. He's Hungarian, actually. What was listed as unimportant on that poster? I didn't look. <laughs> it's too far away now. I was not paying attention though. There's another one? Okay, we'll look at that then. Yeah, that's not good. You're right. Shit, that looks really bad. It does. Not bad enough to take a picture of, though. <laughs> For whatever reason. Let's climb these pipes. What could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing could go wrong. This place is a mess. I need to find a way out. You should ride that bike. I'm glad I'm not the one paying for all of this. <laughs> we should ride the bike out of here, clearly. I didn't even see that was something. I was trying to, to ride the, the motorcycle. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I think we have to wait though. <laughs> I don't think I can read that like this. Someone should get that fixed. It's not time-based? <laughs> oh man, but why not? <laughs> it should be. Can I come back up here? Should I even drop down here? You <laughs> can't really see what's going on. Do I need to shut off this pipe somehow? No. Guess not. What's this? That takes 10 packs of camera batteries. Even, even like this. How far do I need to go? This is like, it's not over here. Doesn't look like I'm getting out that way. Okay, now, <laughs> Ellen. While I was down here, I also saw huge mushroom growth in some of the tunnels. The fumes are pretty intense. Could you inspect those? Also, while you're looking at the gas pipes. Thanks, Doug. Intriguing. That makes 10 packs of batteries for the flashlight. Give me a box. I could totally climb that without a box too. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Can 
take these boxes. Do I still care about the mushrooms? I do. <laughs> I still have nine packs of batteries left. Okay. It seems kind of weird how, how some of the mushrooms are still worthy of a picture and, picture and some aren't. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's see. It's not good. Okay, I can be on this side. But I can't pick any of these boxes up. This one I can. Okay. And I just drop it down there, right? Can I fit it through, though? Just the way I wanted it to go. <laughs> All right, now we can read. <laughs> Ellen, I've been noticing uh, what smells like gas around some of the pipes and they look like they're in pretty bad shape. Could you do a leak check in the meantime don't create any sparks down here just in case. And don't let anyone smoke. Thanks, Doug. All right. Interesting. And what do we have here? Stalberg Mass Transit um, Auxiliary Tunnel Maintenance Inspection. Report gas service pipe conditions. South Helen Station Service Area Tunnel. Island Dinari. Senior Technician. Safety and Health. Very poor condition. <laughs> Repair priority immediate. Severe threat to health and safety and risk of damage if not corrected. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Joints between pipes are severely deteriorated. Leaks detected at several joints. Pipe material shows signs of corrosion and fatigue. Leaks expected to grow in magnitude. Condition could reach point of imminent combustion if not repaired. Yeah, it's, it's burning right now. Gas pipe service surrounding uh, infrastructure and maintenance must continue even after South Helen Station closure. Most recent recent previous inspection rec record dated over two years ago reports describe pipes in perfect condition that is unlikely given current condition previous reports are very likely an error or report uh, reporting based on incomplete inspections this um what discrepancy comes into question all recent city maintenance inspections review and reinspection highly recommended from Ellen to Doug. I just filed this. Why is this the first time we're hearing about this damage? Wasn't Robin supposed to be doing these regularly? <laughs> the last one was two years ago, and even that was wrong. If Robin did it all and didn't just make stuff up. Does he even still work here? <laughs> yeah. So that's not a separate picture? No, okay. All right. We took a picture of the fire, right? Because <laughs> it's pretty... I'm not that close, come on. <laughs> Don't be silly now.
Okay, so. We took a picture of this. We took a picture of this. We took a picture of these mushrooms. Yeah, Robin's kind of... <laughs> not great. What's this say? Someone has been using Osmo Orbit bottles for storing Pontica, and I think this is from his uh, first production run. I disposed of every bottle I could find, <laughs> but there's no telling which of these bottles are legit. Do not drink anything you find here. Too late. <laughs> Too late. More corruption. More corruption. All right. Ghost decks. So much for that. <laughs> that did look nice. Do I have to be closer? That has to be okay. Yeah. Definitely not getting paid enough for this shit. It's true. You deserve a raise, Mark. You should bring it up. <laughs> that looked nice. That looked nice. You never have nice things, though. Nice duck. <laughs> All right. But where am I actually going now? I have not been looking for that. I've just been looking for a way to get back to where we were. Just drive this out of here. <laughs> we took a picture of the sparks flying, I think. I mean, that's probably broken, I would say. Battery's getting kind of weak. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Yeah, we have plenty. Okay. So was there anything up here? Do we go up on the other side somehow? Is there way up on the other side? No, it's all blocked off here anyway. And this just leads back to here. I guess there's a door. No, oh, that doesn't open the door, does it? What am I stuck on? <laughs> These pipes. There was definitely nowhere to go here, right? This is definitely also not something that's going to open for me. All right. I don't know if I need that again, but maybe I do. Why is this like a ladder? <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Oh, here. There's definitely something here. You have to remember that, or you will get some random stuff. And then one, three, five, two, three, five, two, five, two, three, five, seven, eight, or something. Is that important? <laughs> That's nice. All right, uh, this door, does it open? It does, simper. We need to paint something. <laughs> okay. Not important. That's good to know. The Robotic Company, they're always watching. It's true, they're everywhere. 
and always watching. I should car someone. What? <laughs> what is this? It's invisible. Left over need to remove. Good, good. <laughs> it's definitely invisible. Do I have my card? Blue screened. What a shame. They're all blue screened. It's time to get a new car. <laughs> is this the new car or is this the reason I need to get a new car? Keep up hamburger. <laughs> Do you want to eat a hamburger? I just want to eat a <laughs> kebab. We have a solution to your problem. <laughs> Keeping the city moving. Very nice. Sign up now so we can keep an eye on you. I book. <laughs> it takes 30 years to delete an account. That seems about right. What's with this? Is this broken? This is broken. Should take a picture. These are broken too. Should take a picture. Anything else interesting to look at? Can we jump this? Doesn't look like I'm getting out that way. Why not? You could totally jump that mark. You're in good shape. That leak is fine? Come on. There's a leak. I can see I can see the drips. <laughs> Come on, Mark, do your job. I know you're not getting paid enough, but still. Could still do your job. City of Open Sewer, city map. <laughs> Very nice. Out of service, very good. South Helens, East Port Line. <laughs> I don't know. So many umrauts. Mechene. <laughs> Lune Bleu, sure. Street Gang, Bang Bang is here. It's true. Come on, I want. I want a soda. Or a beer. Someone left her suitcase. Seriously? I'm not even taking a picture of this? Oh no, I just have to be really killed. Sure, it's not like that. That's fine, that's fine. I would have been really disappointed if that wasn't a picture. <laughs> just blocking the doors. Do we want to be on the train? Is there a point to this? Probably not. Well. I guess that's the point, huh? Well, I saw someone for a second. <laughs> Is 
So is the duck indicating that I can open this door? And then and this duck is indicating that I can open this door and none of the other doors I can open. Because there are no ducks. Still eight packs of batteries left. Because that seems about right. I want some coffee. Can we get a can we get a cup? We tap at three. Hammer twelve. Not saw as hammer, sure. Very good. The radioactive hamburger, also very good. All right. Exit. The station's closed, and I think I'm locked inside. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't look like I'm getting out that way. Why not, though? There's another door we could try, I'm sure. Okay, so if we're not leaving this here, then we have to go through the train. And then we have to go back here. And there's a duck here, so this is gonna open. But then there's no duck here, so this isn't gonna open. This isn't gonna open. There would be no point to this one. And also there's a duck back there, so clearly that's where we need to go. I like the ducks. Like red crumbing the way for me. <laughs> I like this one. I remember this one. That was my thumbnail for that episode. Three pack. That's a that's a weird number. We could totally get out of here. Ghost, water damage. Sorry for inconvenience. I'm not going anywhere near that. There's gotta be a way to get this open. You just need a coin. I haven't seen any coins though. Um doesn't look like I'm getting out that way. Sure, none of the convenient ways work. Tickets. Is it money? Coin return, press the coin return button. Is this a coin? 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 <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm getting out that way. <laughs> How do you know? You could totally, like I've seen you climb this. <laughs> you could totally do it. You just don't want to, Mark. So <laughs> where do I find something useful? Here. Can't even rattle these. Break, we smash the window. Oh, and let me just stand up. Come on, <laughs> take this key card. All right, coins. That's all I needed. <laughs> all I needed. It's glowing weirdly in the corner. I like it. Come on, aim at the other draw at this one. Or empty. There gotta be some batteries here. K 
and for me. <laughs> I'll be so disappointed if there are no batteries. Are there really no batteries or did I miss them? That's nine packs of camera batteries. I don't mean these. <laughs> Tripper. I mean, I can't read the left side <laughs> without the flashlight. Our SMT personal contract is an Osmo or club members entering must be must be appropriate personal protective equipment. At least Osmo or club for auxiliary transport maintenance must continue even after South Helen station closes. Most recent previous inspection record dated 18 months ago. Uh, reports described no environmental problems in tunnel that uh, is unlikely given how Starbuck mushroom growth rates. Uh, previous reports are very likely an error based incomplete inspections. From Ellen to Doug, I guess they finally fired Robin. Okay, can we turn on a light here? We can. <clears throat> This is just the same thing again, though, right? Maybe? No, I don't know. Urgent. Occupational hazard. Moderate threat to surrounding environmental health if not corrected. 2B. Okay, now there's a different report. Significant growth of Stalberg mushroom fungi in tunnel. Fumes from mushrooms are well above acceptable limits. Poses environmental hazard to any personnel in the tunnel. Seepage of mushroom produced compounds into local environmental environment poses risk of water contamination and threat to air quality. Which is also probably causing that mysterious illness. <laughs> Break it open. That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. What's this? South Helens Metro Station to close. I don't want to read anymore. <laughs> Sandberg Mass Transit announced today that the South Helens Metro Station would be closed permanently and all Eastport Line trains will terminate at Whiprock from this point onward. When are we going to get Whiprock? The station close, closure raised concerns among residents of the southern neighborhood coming while uh, living conditions in the area are seen as deteriorating. Eric Tilson, president of the Helens Point Community Association, told the Times the area around the South Sound, South Sound Station has been... Worsening recently, and we worry that closing it will only speed up that trend. We have seen the station become a gathering point for people suffering the effects of Stalberg mushroom addiction. Now is a time for more public investment in the area, not less. Problems with the local infrastructure have further exacerbated the problem in Helens Point. Flooding from recent storms is causing standing water and even some flooding in lower-lying parts of the neighborhood. Elena Farkas, um, Deputy Director of Stalberg Water said, We are adding shifts and working overtime to clear the storm water system in southeast Stalberg. Now more than ever, it is important that all residents follow the simple guidelines, which can be found on our website. Dumping trash in storm drains is prohibited since this causes the storm water systems to back up. But ask if the growing um, indigenous population of infrastructure problems around the station contributed to the closure decision and SMT spokesman that only service changes are based on a number of factors, primarily ridership and impact. Ever since the opening of Helen Sound and Rip Rock, Rip Rock stations in the early 2000s, we have been planning to replace the station with bus services 59 and 54 that will connect the new metro stations along with the Eastport commuter train. Keeping the South Helen station open would mean nothing but harm due to its poor condition and high costs. The station's closure will occur next month at the same time as the other SMT service changes during the beginning of 2016. After closure, the station will be used as a temporary storage for metro trains while new trains are delivered to Tarfell Depot, which will be expanded in the near future. Fascinating. Also, I have to take a picture of this still. Intriguing. Also, someone broke a window. And this is like boarded up. It is also not good, I think. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? I still have nine packs of batteries left. I mean, we know where we need to go. It's another brick too. 
the duck. Isn't there? <laughs> it looks like a duck, but all right. Um, so we probably climb out the back of this somehow. Should have gone around moving faster. <laughs> Smacked himself with the door again. Pretty bad. Anyway, I mean, this is broken. <laughs> That's not good. There's no mirror. <laughs> but I guess it never is. Sure, this is also broken, by the way. <laughs> Shouldn't be like that. Sugar flakes, sausage, and beer ads in the in the restroom. Why not? Why not? Too bad that the metro station was closed. Yeah, we could have just gotten on a train otherwise, and that would have been much easier. That's creepy. See, these dogs are doing a better job smoking than, you know, those cigarettes we've seen before. Good job, dogs. I guess nothing is really broken here, is there? No. Just a glow stick. That makes 10 packs of batteries for the flashlight. That's good. That's probably not good. Hmm. More glow sticks. Oh, come on. Why? It's broken. This is going downstairs. I don't want to go downstairs. I want to go upstairs. Hmm. Could use some more courage right about now. It's true. We could. Closed. Today's special, nothing. Interesting. I don't know if that's interesting, though. It don't look so good, friend. Can I not get in there? For sure, but come on. Where's the where's the leaky pipe? Who's riding all these mo motorcycles down here? I still have nine packs of batteries left. Not here. Back here? Okay, I see the pipe. <laughs> sure, that's fine. You're just in the way now. Okay, where's the... I 
is the thing. Here. All right, very good, very good. I guess I should have taken a picture first, maybe. Because now I can't. I fixed it too soon. Can I unfix it? I probably can't, right? <sighs> nope. That's a shame. You know. We took a picture. <laughs> Don't care about the, the booze? No. Okay. But the board cuts I do care about. Oh, and it's turned on again. Somehow. Ours can't... It's not worthy of a picture though. It's broken. Come on. I disagree with that one. <laughs> uh, reload. Still eight packs of batteries left. I mean, I can't really be much closer than this. I don't know what's going on. I've been in here too long, I think. <laughs> Starting to see things. <coughs> we made it, maybe. Now maybe still we can still take a pic. No, I can't go back in here. Okay. <laughs> I want to take a picture though. <laughs> it's fine. All right. I have a bit bad feeling about this door and this train track and everything. I don't like it. Okay, let's see if it works. There are ducks here. Usually we should go towards them, not away from them. I'm not on it. What? I want to ride it. That's not good. Who was that? We ran him over. That's fine. I think that's definitely worthy of a picture, though. Lever change didn't trigger? That's a problem. <laughs> I was definitely on top of it though. I just fell off. <laughs> okay. You look kind of scary. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. We just walk by him. <laughs> he doesn't. He's, he's not a bad guy. He's just hanging out. He didn't do anything. He did nothing wrong. <laughs> this is fine. Just saying hi. It's fine. You did, you did nothing. You, you just showed up and then, you know, that's it. Can I walk? Can I move? <laughs> I can move. Should I be able to move? Restart.
Now what? <laughs> I don't know. Can I move now, please? <laughs> yes, okay. More than a slightly different spot, there was more over here. Yeah, that makes sense. I, f I felt like I was lower and more over that way <laughs> before. Anyway, are there really people blind playing this in one hour, actually? I lost all my stuff. I don't have a camera, I don't have a flashlight. No. That's bad. I got nothing. I feel really tall in here. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> oh, maybe it is. I have <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. I turn around. Okay. Forty minutes. <laughs> That's fast. We've been going for like three hours now. Should I eat this? I'm not sure what's like actually doing. I was not sure what I'm actually doing. What'd that do? <laughs> Should I eat the floating mushroom? <laughs> I feel like there's not much else I can do. I don't know if that is a good idea or not. It was an idea though. Okay. What? What is happening? Okay. So that wasn't real. That was close. Was way too close again. <laughs> I don't want to go back down there though, it's scary. Do you just come up here and leave? Probably. I just want to know. Can I even go back down? I don't think I can, okay. This is not a door. Up we go. Beep beep. I mean, that's my experience with trains. <laughs> they just like 
honk or beep at you. That's nine packs of flashlight batteries. If you're in the way. Or even close to being in the way. The engineer. Oh, wait, did we ever see that poster? Did I run by it again? <laughs> What's that sound? It's a camera. Unimportant. Important notice. Very strange, but still great. That's weird. Can't really read that though. Ah, you finally arrived. It was difficult to get here in one piece. Leave your camera on the tray at the table and I'll open the door for you. Well, it's not like I have a choice. Do I really not have a choice? <laughs> That's my camera. Now, FA, I have to hurry. Your help is highly appreciated. Stay safe. Finally. What a fucking day full of endless tunnels, close calls, poisonous mushrooms, and goddamn teddy bears. <laughs> Perkele. <laughs> Perkele, indeed. <laughs> All right. Good voice acting there. I know what I'm talking about, I've voice acted before. <laughs> Not professionally, but you know. Oh, do I have a new place? This is not where I used to live. Who's that over there? Looking at me. Eki Tereve sought in Helen's point investigation. The Starbuck Police Department announced today that they are urgently seeking Eki Tereve in connection with their investigation of uh, recent environmental and public health problems in the Helen's Point neighborhood. This comes just a week after the announcement of the police involvement, which signaled the. Let's turn it down. Investigation was turning from a purely public health matter to a criminal probe. Tereve was known as a, one of Starbucks' leading entrepreneurs from the mid-1990s to the early 2000s, specializing in biotechnology, but little has been heard from him since his company, StyleBio, shut down. Dorothy's sister's uh, Rosalina expressed concern for his safety. Erki's mental health has been poor since the death of her brother, Lauri, in 2003. She told the Times. She said that uh, she and Tereve have been in contact only sporadically since then, and she has no knowledge of how he might be involved in the Helen's Point situation. She has told the authorities what she knows and urges others to do the same. Anyone with information on Eric's whereabouts should report it to help uh, get to the bottom of the health problems in Helen's Point and also so he can get the care he needs. Public health officials also stress the importance of the investigation. Resolving these mysterious illnesses in Helen's Point is a top priority right now, says said Estelle uh, Johansson, director of public health for the Stahlberg region. Every piece of information from the local community gets us closer to identifying the cause of the problem and stopping it. Your first <laughs> voice acting job. Nice, nice. Good, good, good work, honestly. Still eight packs of batteries left. Hotel Midtown, nice. <laughs> Still a light switch. <laughs> it's kind of dark back here. Nothing in my safe. Oh, of course, my most prized possession. A duck. <laughs> Unimportant. There we go. We are so gl glad you made it out alive. You have made a great service to us. Those pictures you delivered are enough to get Erki out of the picture. 
Transformation can already be seen from deep slumber. The raven awakens. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Who did we work with? Or four. It's an inconvenient door. <laughs> no, no lights in here. <laughs> Bathroom's just dark. Cat and Teddy, sure, that makes sense. SHR, different group. Okay. Can we turn on the TV? No. Can we turn on the radio? Today, the Stahlberg police have made an urgent appeal to the public for help in locating an individual in connection with a pattern of illnesses reported in the Hell's Point neighborhood. The person in question, identified as 58-year-old Erikin Tarama, is said to be possibly suffering from mental illness. I'm joined now by Jasmine Crow, a senior correspondent for the Stahlberg Times, who has been reporting on this story. Jasmine, these illnesses have been investigated by public health officials for over a year. Can you tell us what they found? Thank you for having me. This has been a frustrating problem for the public health department. About two years ago, patients from Helen Point started appearing in clinics with symptoms like nausea, fever, and muscle aches, and doctors couldn't pinpoint the cause. Fortunately, they were able to rule out a contagious disease, so that left environmental factors. With all the infrastructure problems in Stahlberg region, health officials looked into water supply contamination and also air pollution from nearby industrial sources, but they couldn't find any factors explaining the illness. Just last week, the police joined the investigation. What prompted law enforcement to get involved? It was actually an anonymous tip about an abandoned facility in Helens Point that was being used for Stahlberg mushroom growing and processing. When police investigated, they found what looked like a laboratory equipment, as well as a tap into the local water supply. They suspected that someone could be introducing foreign substances through that tap, possibly deliberately. Now, regarding this person the police are seeking, Eric e. Tarama, what do we know about him? And are the police looking for him as a witness, or do they actually think he might have poisoned the water supply? Well, the police won't officially say whether he's a witness or a suspect. But sources familiar with the investigation say he's definitely thought to bear responsibility for the contamination, either through negligence or possible deliberately. Now, Tarava's background is somewhat mysterious. He was actually a well-regarded scientist and an entrepreneur in the Stahlberg area, with several successful biotechnology startups in the 90s. But his last venture failed in 2003, and he disappeared from the view right around that time. What about this mental illness the police mentioned? Does that have anything to do with his suspected wrongdoing? According to people close to Tarava's family, he really hasn't been the same since the death of his twin brother, Lauri, in 2003. And in fact, it's felt that his grief over Lauri's death led to his company going under later that year. But we still don't know what he's been doing since then. Although he the abandoned Helen's Point facility, the police are investigating was the location of Tarava's last company. As far as the role of his mental states, the police are only speculating at this point. Anyone with information on Tarama's whereabouts is urged to contact the police promptly. More information is available on the Stolberg Police Department website. Finally, Jasmine, is there anything else the public should be aware of? Public health officials believe the danger to the public is now over. 
They've been monitoring the water supply in Helen's Point continuously for any signs of contamination, and none has been detected. That's good. They'd like to remind people, though, that Stalberg green mushrooms are toxic, and that if you see any clusters of them, you should keep your distance and report them to the public health department. Jasmine, thank you for your excellent reporting on this. Thank you. Up next, what does the Amstrad line reconstruction mean for SMT commuters? You're listening to The Stalberg Report on Stalin News Radio. So stick around. <laughs> All right. Project leader is in chat. After us, we have gameplay designer. After us, we have story writer. <laughs> also after us, and monster. What a name! <laughs> Texture artist. G U B maybe. Mr. German Deutsch <laughs> Sky. Environmental artist. Uh, G U B Johnny Mo Oskutin voice actor. Captain Video Tia Lina. Custom art. Uh, Markus Hiltunen, G. Hubi, Tia Lina, Aptorus, uh, Models by K Ketar? I don't know. Sound Design, Aptorus and G. Hubi, Aptorus, G. Hubi, uh, O. Sogno, and Osgood in Lever Design, Optimizations by Johnny Mo. Very good. Good work all around. What was that? <laughs> Something moved there at the end. And then it just it just froze us back to desktop in true and fashion. I like it. Um very good. I really liked and don't don't take this the wrong way, I really liked how the reporter and the, the radio guy called the uh, is a duck? Okay, that makes sense. Uh like pronounced the name differently. Just back and forth. I was, I, I, I don't know, I enjoyed that. But, you know, I understand it's like a weird name to pronounce for sure. <laughs> and it's even weirder to, like, try to pronounce it. Like, I don't speak Finnish. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know, I enjoyed that. But really, overall, like, a really, really good job. I mean, just a very good infra. Like, it felt like infra. Like, you did a really good job of, of just nailing that sort of experience. It was, it was very natural, yes. <laughs> oh, man. It felt like infra, it really did. It was weird and, like, funny, but not... You didn't overdo it. it like, that's what I was worried about with, like, a mod... Uh, not that, you know, that I expected it to be that way, but I worry that it could go like too much, you know, too much funny, too much weird, too much like, but it really stayed true to the, to the core gameplay of, of Infra, which I really enjoyed. It was one of my favorite games of all time, for sure. Because it's just so weird. It's such a weird game. It's so good, though. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> 